He's having a seizure. He will survive. A strong subject. There, he's opening his eyes. I saved him, Fuller. I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. You can certainly say that you gave us a scare. <laughs> what did you do to me? Undo these straps! Whoa! Go easy, my friend. You were dead. He killed you. Are you sure he's better? He was... He was dead. Me too, we, we were dead! What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> What? No! <gasps> what happened to me? Where am I? Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No, no! You're leaving this cell. Please. I don't want him to find me. Stand up. We don't have much time. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. 
Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. Why should I trust you? I don't even know your name. All I have is a woman dressed as a doctor, which is not particularly reassuring. I am Dr. Marie Colden. I work in this institute. But that does not mean I approve of everything Dr. Fuller does. He hides a lot of things from me, especially on this floor. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them, and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. What does this mean? Sarah? Am I in an asylum? This is no medicine. Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. In his eyes, this symbol must have some protective virtues. What did he write about the painting? Get out of here, I'll end up like him. Poor wretch. I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me any longer. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Damn it. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. to let her come down. I know. The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm going to see if there are sleeping pills left. They run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me. Good God. What could this machine be used for? What's going on here? Have I activated anything? This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. I can still increase the load. Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Worse and worse. What's the connection between this meat and the electrical installation?
vats of rotten flesh, an elaborate electrical system, like a dumb pulp novel. Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Dementia? Self-inflicted wounds? Anatomy? Anthropology, nothing surprising. It's done. Now for the others. If I walk, I do not stop. If I do not stop, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me, I do not sleep. If I do not sleep, I do not see him. You. Yeah, you there. Come here. I don't know what you're doing there, but you don't seem to be fr- What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So... You in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. Locked. Exactly what I need. A control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. This padlock is too complicated for me. Thank you. 
It's no use. The padlock won't give. They keep their sleeping bells. Scopolamine, my new friend's sleeping pill. With these chains on your wrist, you can't escape. The door is blocked on the other side. I've got what you want. Show me! There. And remember, they don't come for free. Don't you worry, you'll have your diversion. Go on now, go hide yourself. The crows! They're everywhere! Make them go away! What is well enough inside me? I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars and swells and has strength.
What carnage? Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. days. What will happen if I increase the current to the limit? Green gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. Possible to break this chain with my bare hands. A duct. Perfect. All the levers are activated. That should draw the attention of the guards. Draw the attention of the guards. I should hide.
This lever must turn on the gas machine. It's no use. The padlock won't give. That you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins. What can you tell me about the Hawkins? You... you should leave before it's too late. I inspected the scene of the fire, and something is not right. Do you think Charles Hawkins could have killed his wife and faked his own death? What? Oh, of course not! He would never have done such a thing! 
She was the sole purpose of his life. I don't understand. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. Don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? Sarah Hawkins visitor? The Shambler? Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. I got it. Look. This is insane. What killed him? Need to move on. goes there that nightmare again I need a drink Mr. Pierce, how do you feel? Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... There are things... I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce? I heard you talking earlier. Why am I not surprised? I get the impression you two don't get along. Intrusive and not very clever. Anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. Bradley, 
What do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion. You don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor, then, uh... Then what? I, uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital. And called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Bradley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... Demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes. And as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins, and that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. I didn't see what, but... Something was there, with us. Of what do you speak? Sander said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? 
How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. He's right. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. The other night's events are still confused in my head. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well, look who's here. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? 
Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? He started raving, screaming that a dimensional shambler had found him. Oh, mercy, that story again. Why have him interned? That was when he began to convulse and twist with pain. Or terror, it's hard to tell. Uh, I beg your pardon? I'm not really sure of what I saw, or what I didn't see. But it's best that you weren't there. I should have been there. What you're telling me is outrageous. I need to understand. H how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. Well, you can imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Did she really care for him, after all? The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. A house of artists. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? Ah! The Shambler. I need to see it.
I could use one of those. A strange Amerindian pendant. An old diary. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. What a surprise. I'm listening. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Thank you. 
The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. What the hell was that? Damn. This dagger looks different.
What's the matter with you? You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so too. My arm was disappearing into this painting. You must have seen that. I saw you put your trembling hands on a collector's artifact. Where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. This symbol on the dagger, it was all over Sanders' cell. It's what protected him. It's what protected me, too. This antique dealer has a good knowledge of the occult. I have nothing to lose by meeting him. You've got your spunk back. Go where you want. I'm staying here to talk business with Irene.